morning everyone today we are going to make a lava bead bracelet something that you can give as a gift to somebody um, and I just found out probably maybe a month ago that you can use essential oils on the lava beads and I am probably the last person in the world to know that and I started doing that so I made myself a bracelet that I've been wearing to work and I have lava beads on them and I use an essential oil that is calming. So like lavender, something that just really relaxes me. And I just use just a couple drops because anyone who uses essential oils know that you don't need much for it to go far. So I put that on my bracelet and when things get stressful at work, I can just breathe it in and relax. And it's really helped me through some really stressful, hairy moments. Um, I don't get extremely stressed out or suffer from anxiety. People who do, I feel I feel so bad for you because if I have a hard time controlling my, um, uh, I guess, excitement or um, whatever you wanna call it, when I get stressed out, then I can't even imagine how anyone who suffers with anxiety feels. So I just use it just to calm myself down so I can refocus and think again and really try hard to um, just kind of relax and get back to the moment instead of letting my mind run away with me. I um, use it often. I wear it pretty much every day, especially during like really um, trying times at work. Like I know we had the home show that we had just had last week and it was a very stressful week and um, it was all great and it all came together so wonderful. But during that and still trying to do your job and get ready for that is a lot. So um, I use it especially at month end when we have a deadline to meet and everything needs to stay perfect and in order and ready to roll. I have to step back and smell my bracelet. I know it sounds really weird, but it helps me so much. So. I thought with gift season approaching, I have a lot of birthdays coming up and um, I want to be ready for that. So I made myself this bracelet and you can see that I used um, these like kind of maroon colored or rust colored lava beads and I wanted this big focal. I used some random findings that I had. Sorry, I had to pause it really quick. I had to sneeze. Um, so I used some random, random findings that I had and um, also some other beads that I thought would look really pretty with it. And I put it all on a leather cord with one of those little slider adjustable um, uh, beads. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but um, I'm sure somebody will remind me in the comments and I would greatly appreciate that if you did. So this is what we're going to make today. And I actually have um, someone's birthday coming up. My mother-in-law's birthday is coming up. So I want to make one for her. And my mom's birthday is coming up as well. So I want to get a couple of these made quickly. And they go together really fast. And I will show you how they all end up coming together. The other thing that I found that I thought was really cool is I'm like, how can I um, give them just like one or two little scents? You know, nothing. Um, I don't want to buy a big bottle something that maybe they might not care for. So on Amazon, and I'll make sure I send the links for these too, I found these cute little droppers. They're so adorable and they're so cute. And there's a little dropper inside. They have a really good seal so nothing's going to leak out. But look at how, look how cute that is. And like I said, you know that you only need a couple drops of something. So one scent in here could last quite a while. So I found those. And then because I only have just the one scent for myself, I have lavender. I know not, not some people would like that. So I found this really cool set that has so many. Look at all of these. Look at all these scents. I'm sorry, there's a glare from my light. But look at all these scents that you get. And I'm like, how cool would that be to give a bracelet and give like a couple different scents. So you could do one um, that would be calming and you can do one that would be uh, something for energy or something that would help you sleep. Um, I think it would be really cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna get a gift prepared 
with making the bracelet today and using the little bottles. And I'll show you what it's gonna end up looking like at the end to kind of all put together. And I don't have my little boxes handy, but I can show you what it would look like all together anyway. And it would, I think it's gonna be a really cute gift. And I think my um, mother-in-law and my mom both are gonna love these. So um, we'll get going on it. And I just, before I turn the camera around, I wanna say thank you again to everybody who has been so kind. Thank you to everyone who um, may not be ready to see things go in a different direction, and that's okay. Um, we love you anyway, and I want to be able to do this to share my gift with you, just like I would love you to share your gift with me. I, that's why I belong to um, a couple different beating groups. You know, we share things, and I always find that other people's talents just amaze me every day because I find something that you did with a product or a bead or the way someone wire wrapped something and I'm like I never thought to do that so I will of course love it and then I'll try it on my own sometimes I succeed sometimes I don't um, sometimes I even reach out to people and say hey how did you do that you know can you can you kind of give me some words to tell me what you did to make it that way I think that's what we all need to do, you know, as brilliant crafters. We need to help each other out. We need to show each other our own gifts and keep things going forward so we all feel kind of collected together as one big group. Um, I do consider everyone that I have spoken to and met through Wendy to be a great person to me, a friend to me. Um, that's. I don't know, I guess that's really how I feel about it. So I want to continue to share with you guys too. Thank you again for all your kind words. Thank you for being so sweet. Um, thank you, that's all I have to say. Now I'm gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna get to work. Ready, let's go. Okay, welcome back guys. We're gonna get started on this bracelet and I'm really excited to show you how easy this is going to come together for you. So I have some Bead Nova one millimeter leather that we're going to use. And I have it in black. Um, you can use any kind of, um, you know, probably one millimeter be beading, um, like that wax cord. That would be really cute too, especially if you had it in a color. Um, but I have that. And I have some lava beads in a bunch of different colors. I mean, look at how great these colors are. They're so pretty and there's so many different ones. I mean, the possibilities are endless with these. I also have, I'm going to use that big giant ceramic bead. Um, I know that she loves blues, so I'm going to use these blue ceramic beads. I have a couple of my favorite little bone beads there because she means a lot to me and I will make sure she has something really, really cute and pretty on there. I also have a tree of life charm because I just, it reminds me of her and I want to be able to put that on there for her. I have my little thing of random findings and chunky bead caps, which I don't know where I found these, but I think they're really cool and I haven't had much opportunity to use them. So we're probably going to use them in this bracelet, just like in mine. And then I also have, and I'm sorry if I just hit the camera, I have one of those little slider beads to close the end, but I was kind of wondering if maybe if I could fit both sides of the leather through this owl and use this as a slider bead. So we're going to give that a shot. It's my only owl. I have no idea where it came from, <laughs> um, but I'm going to give that a try and see if we can do that. And since we're going to try to get that leather through some tight, the tight space, I did bring my big eye needle. Um, if you don't have one of these or if you can't find them, because I know sometimes they get lost really easy. I just happened to find this one by accident and I used to have probably 20 of them. Um, they're kind of like bobby pins. You can't find one when you need one, but when you don't need one, you find 50. So you can also use just a scrap piece of your beading wire and fold it in half and kind of use that as like a big eye needle to thread it through a bead. That is something our dear Wendy taught me. So. Anyway, we're gonna get going on that, and I'm going to pull out the items that I'm going to use. So 
I have this bead that has that blue color in it, so I know I definitely want to use these blue ceramic, my ivory colored bone beads. We'll leave the charm to the side for now and our other things that are going to close it off and be hanging from it. I know I'm going to use these two really interesting bead cap sort of things. And now I just want to figure out what beads I want to use. I need four of them and I don't really want to mix the colors. I want to try to keep it all um, one color. But since I used the this like um, maroon color on my bracelet, I don't have that. And I do have though some yellow, but I want four of them and I only have three. So let's take a look at this almost, it's like a deeper blue kind of, yeah, kind of a really different blue. So maybe we'll see if we have enough of those. It's like a blue green color. Uh, yep, I do have four of those. So this one is going to be mostly blue, which is okay because she does love blue. So these are what we're gonna, we're gonna be using. And as you see, it takes very minimal beads to make a really beautiful bracelet. All right, so that being said, you're also going to need, I usually cut about a foot and a half of my cording, and that should be plenty. So I'm getting my cutters, and I'm gonna just cut that off there and set the rest up to the side, and we're just going to string it on. Now you can string this on however you like. I really like my focal to be on top for these bracelets. It just kind of gives it more balance, especially since it's kind of on thin leather cording. So we're gonna make this bracelet kind of identical to mine. We can kind of twin it up a little bit. And I'm going to feed on my, my chunky caps so that they're on either side of this big, gorgeous bead. And I don't know about you guys, but I just love these like ceramic beads that are just glazed and you know they're so pretty. I know I know a lot of people love their gemstones and the check glass and believe me I do too, but there's something about a really nice pretty painted chunky ceramic bead that makes me extremely happy. So then we're gonna go do these blue ceramic beads. And then we're going to also do the, oh, I wanna do the ivory bone bead. Kind of break it up a little bit. And I don't always feel like your, your a lot of these don't have to be right on top for you to enjoy the scent of your essential oil. It can be on the side, it can be underneath, it can be wherever you want them to be, or they can be right on top as your focal. All right, now that we have the bone beads strung on, I'm going to string on these blue lava beads. And they are a deeper blue, which is nice. So it kind of gives it just a little bit more, um, like a different color blue. And string that one on. And that one. All right, so we have our bracelet and you don't have to go all the way around with the leather bracelets, which is why this is so nice. Like, you don't have to use a ton of beads in your stash to make this. This would also be a really pretty necklace, and you could still do the same thing. Um, I can see maybe tying it off here and using some really pretty chain um, to, you know, hold the rest on, and I think it would be just gorgeous. And then you would also have your scent up close to your neck, so it'd be closer to your nose too. You don't have to hold your wrists up like I do at work. <laughs> All right, so then we're just going to do like a simple surgeon's knot on either end here. No barrel knots today. So to do a surgeon knot, you're just gonna have like, you're gonna make one knot like that, but then you want to loop it back through again and just kind of gently slide up to the end of your beads. 
And that just happened to me on camera. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Hold that thought. I think I'm gonna get some cording. Okay, I'm back. So either I am a brute and I don't know my own strength or this cording was very weak. Um, I don't know. It held up fine for mine, but maybe it just got in a really weak spot and didn't like my knot. All right, anyway, so I thought, okay, well, you know what? We're going to use this instead. And I love this, especially look at that with the blue. Maybe I should have did that right from the beginning. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. And I'm still going to only need about a foot and a half of this. And this is that wax cord. All right, so let's restring this. And I think I'm gonna like it with this yellow anyway. I think that's gonna look really, really cool. The only problem with these is like the ends, even though they're waxed, they get kind of funky. Anyone know any good ways to um, remedy that? besides using my needle, which I'm gonna to have to use. If you do, let me know. I would love to find out. So we're going to use our needle just so we can guide it through the beads that much easier. All right. And putting our bead cap back on. I need someone to please tell me that their leather has broken like that before and that maybe I don't have bad leather or um, it's not like I bought it from somewhere that was really cheap and inexpensive. It wasn't really cheap, but I usually get my stuff from USA Leather, but I ended up just ordering it on Amazon since I was on there getting a bunch of other stuff anyway. So maybe I don't buy it from Amazon. I guess maybe we don't know how long it's been sitting there. I don't know if that has an effect on leather. Any of you who are, you know, leather pros, you know, let me know because I'm kind of curious to see why that happened. I wasn't even pulling hard. Anyway, so this is what happens, right? Life happens. <clears throat> and then we find something better and we move forward. All right, so I have been thinking about, I love discussing things with you guys. Um, just string, stringing this back on. We already went through this once, so I'm sure you probably don't care about um, all that. But I love music. Music to me, it can make me energetic, it can make me rest, it can bring me peace, and it can bring me joy, and I love all types of music. Um, about the only thing I don't really listen to is classical music. I do have some that I like, but I don't listen to it very often. So I pretty much like everything else though. I listen to country, I listen to classic rock, I listen to um, Christian rock. I listen to oldies and I listen to everything except for pretty much anything after 2010 because now I just, I don't understand the music. So I don't listen to it. But um, I need to know two things. So first of all, your favorite all time singer or band, I wanna know who that is. For me, it's Billy Joel. He is my all-time favorite. I've seen him in concert three times, once with Elton John, and he's amazing. And I absolutely love his music. I will listen to him all day long if I, if I have to, and I enjoy it immensely. The other thing I need to know is what is your guilty pleasure music? So for me, and my, <laughs> if my husband was in here right now, he'd be rolling his eyes. For me, it's the Bee Gees. I love the Bee Gees. I am a disco girl for sure. Um, disco to me is very fun. It's very upbeat. It's very, um, it's just very fun. And if I want to get in the mood to get something cleaned in the house, sometimes I will either put my earbuds in and listen to a book or I will put music on from my phone and stream it onto my TV. And we have one of those big, um, like, those speaker bars or whatever, and I'll get that on and turn it up and, and you know, dance my way through cleaning the house. <laughs> so um, that's, my, that's my cleaning music, I love it. 
All right, so for the end of these, this cord, I am just doing the same thing, and it looks like it's holding it better than that leather did. I am doing a surgeon's knot. So again, to do that, you're gonna act like you're just going to make a knot, but then you're going to go through that loop one more time. And that's how you make that. And then doing the first knot is fine because you can get all the beads down to that knot. But then when you make your second one, you really gotta kind of guide that bead down. I'm sorry, that bead, yeah. That cord knot down to the end of your beads. And right now I'm having a tough time doing that. All right. So just kind of guide it down and just smooth it down with your fingers. Show it the way. All right. And it's okay if there is a little bit of movement with this, you don't want it to be too tight or as when you would say um, poker straight or stick straight, she would always make me laugh so hard every time she would say that. Um, so we don't want it to be that stiff. And it does, it has some movement. It will be, can be the shape of the top of someone's wrist for sure. All right, so now we're going to thread on and I want to try that owl. So let's see if this will work, you guys. So I think this owl would look really cute as the slider clasp for this bracelet. Let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna thread on my big eye needle because I know it's going to take a little bit to get both of them through. And, but I want to thread it through like this. Like I don't wanna put them both through one side and have the leather or the cord pieces on the same side. I want them to be on separate sides. So let's just see if we can get the first one through first. Okay, the first one went through, had to give it a little nudge, but that one went through. And then in order to do the other side, and I'm sorry, I keep sliding off the camera for some reason. When you're doing the other side, you gotta kinda do the same thing. So we're gonna hold that cord down with my fingers. You can see I'm kinda pulling it down. And I just wanna slide that through the top if there's a space that I can get that in. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. We will give it a shot and if not, then we'll use the other thing and I'll have to find something else to use this cute little owl on. I'm pretty persistent though, so let's, <laughs> let's see if I can get it to work. And maybe if I make it really tiny, what needs to go be pulled through there. All right, so now here's the test, right? So I gotta try to hang onto that thread and I need to pull this through and it's going to be hard. And if I end up hitting something and knocking something over, I apologize, but we're gonna try to make this work. And I think, did we get it? No, 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 we did not. But it's so close, I can tell it's so close. All right, I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna give it one more try because I am stubborn like that and see if we can get it to work. One more try. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. Maybe I can get it to work. Um, somebody had asked me um, if I, because I said that I read Nancy Drew, and I was not surprised by how many of you also read Nancy Drew growing up, and now you read Agatha Christie. First of all, can I tell you that I'm really embarrassed that I've never read Agatha Christie, and um, she is going to be on my, my read list. Um, there was quite a few of you who said that you read her, so she must be really amazing. And I'm really kind of embarrassed that I have not read any of her books. Um, but there are a lot of different ones that I have read that, um, you know, different authors and stuff. I do like things that are even um, like Stephen King, um, even though there's some of his stuff that I've been reading, like I would read a book and it got to be too much for me in a spot. And I'm like, oh no, I gotta put this down. I can't do it. All right, well, I'm gonna to try to pull it through, and no, you guys, it's not gonna work. 
All right, we tried. Sorry, Mr. Owl, it's just not going to work with you. That's all right. That's why we have a ton of extra cord here. So we're just going to thread it through this little guy instead. Um, anyway, so I like books like that too, fiction um, books, but um, I do read um, a lot of stuff about like uh, solving cases, like true cases. Um, there's uh, an author that used to be an FBI agent that I, um, his books are astonishing to me, the things that he went through to help solve cases or to even work on some cases that are cold that still haven't been solved. Um, I like reading things about that. Again, there are times in the books that I do have to put it down because it can be too much for me, but I do like um, the true crime genre um, quite a bit. Um, I think that it amazes me what people do to try to get these criminals behind bars and get justice for the families who need it. Um, unfortunately, we will never escape evil. Um, it'll be here until um, God calls us all home. And I guess it's just one of those things that uh, I, I like to read because I like to know things. I like to know what to look for. I like to know what to expect. I also, when I was a teenager, my first dream career that I wanted is I never thought I was going to get married and have children. I always thought that I am going to move to New York and I'm going to become an actress and I'm going to live in this little cool apartment in New York and I'm going to be on Law and Order SVU. <laughs> and my dad said, honey, that's great. It's a great dream, but you need to know that that doesn't happen for everybody and you need to have a backup plan. My backup plan was I wanted to be in criminal justice. I wanted to be a detective. Well, that didn't happen. Um, my boyfriend in high school went into the military and moved away and I wanted nothing more than to be with him. And so I followed him out to Oklahoma. We got married, we had two children. Um, later on in life, uh, things didn't work out with us and it wasn't bad or anything. We're still really great friends. We just knew we couldn't be married and we had to go our separate ways and we both had found um, another amazing partner and had remained friends and co-parented through the whole thing. So I, I feel like I've been blessed with that whole situation. But what I'm trying to say is anything that I dreamt about that I wanted to be did not happen to me. <laughs> But I'm still very happy with the way my life turned out. It's truly amazing. All right, so enough of that. Um, but I would like to also know, what were your big dreams when you were growing up? I want to know if you accomplished your big dreams, or if not, what did God give you instead? All right, so we're going to finish off the ends of these. And a lot of people will hang little beads on them, and I think that's really cute. But I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it just like a simple knot on the end just to catch it if um, they were slight, trying to get it off their wrist. So we're just gonna do another little surgeon's knot here on this spot. And I'm leaving quite a few, like three inches of give so this little piece can just dangle down. And we're just going to close that off. See how that didn't break? That's amazing. And then we're gonna trim that off. And with these Rex cords, what's really nice too is you don't need to go back with any kind of glue at all to um, kind of seal the deal. It'll just stay. All right, so we'll do the same thing on this other end. And here we go. And I'm glad I had all these colors because this, this yellow looks amazing with that blue and everything. It looks so good. All right, so again, leaving myself about three inches on that side. And I don't measure to be perfect about it. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be cute. And then I'm gonna trim that off too. And there we go, there's the bracelet. And I think it's really pretty. I think she's going to absolutely love it. I probably could trim more of the tail off, but I know that she likes long, dangly things as well. So I'm gonna leave that on there. I'm gonna show you how I will set this up as a really cute gift for her and I'll be back. 
Okay, so I'm back, and the one thing I did forget to do is I did forget to put this little Tree of Life charm on. So all I did was I used a bigger, thicker jump ring here, and then I hung it from a smaller jump ring so it hangs correctly. But here's what the little gift will look like, just kind of combined together. Um, I gave her three different scents, and I will um, find some little labels to label it. So I have lavender, sweet orange, and eucalyptus. I thought those would be really fitting for her um, for what she does for her job and um, while she works part-time, but just to help her with different things that she needs. So that's what I'm doing and I just want to make these thoughtful little gifts for everybody and I thought that I could even do something for men. Of course, it wouldn't look this ornate probably and I do have some really good scents for men in this little set too. So I think it would be a really fun, cool gift to give someone something very useful and beautiful. All right, and if anybody has any questions about anything, please let me know. And I am sorry if I don't get to everyone in the comments, I am so sorry. Um, I don't um, get on, but just a couple times a day just to um, check things a couple times a day. I try to keep myself really busy um, at home to get things done that need to be done and everything and to give my family some time and myself some time away from my phone. But please um, enjoy this. Uh, let me know what you end up making. I will make sure that the links to everything I purchased, um, the lava beads, the scents, and the little droppers that is, will be included on here too. The ceramic beads, I don't remember where I got them or anything like that. So. Thank you for looking um, at this video. I shouldn't say looking at this video, it sounds really weird, but thank you for watching this video. Thank you for probably laughing when my leather broke because I'm sure it's not the, I'm not the only one it's happened to, but thinking on my feet and quickly, we came up with, I think, something that looks even better. So it was meant to be. All right, everyone, thank you so much. God bless you and I hope you have a beautiful week. Bye.